Hello everybody, my name is um, Silverliner, and in today's episode we are checking out the Edmund Fitzgerald. So yeah, let's get into the video. This ship sank in 1975 in Lake Superior. Alright, here is the bridge. So you got the radio, and as of now, this ship is not completed, so the um, navigation room is not done. And the stern is, well, a little bit's done, but not much. Alright, so you got the strong room. Hold on. Oh, I got trapped in the door. Alright, so I'm guessing this is a safe, so this is probably where um, valuables are kept on your journey. Now, since this was a flagship, it does have state rooms and is like the grand bunch. So let's, we'll check out the lounge in a second. Let's check out the captain's office. So this would have been owned by either Captain Peter Pulsor, Pulsor or um, Captain McSurley. So both of them would have probably stayed here. Now, I don't know if this radio is for emergency or just to listen to what other captain probably tell what other captains are saying and communicate with them so yeah um then you got a little chair very nice though and then you got um the bathroom all right and we got the captain's stateroom so this is where either one of the captains would have slept still very nice and um let's check out the um well, the lounge now, because the lounge is right next to us. So this this lounge is where um, the crew members, like officers, would have, you know, been. So you got a little, some, thing, some um, chairs, a couch, some chairs over there. Probably for, like, dining and eating, since there is the um, pantry right here. So this is where you make food and all that. And you got a little TV, which does not work, sadly. Alright, now let's check out, this reminds me a lot of another ship we checked out, I don't think, I don't know if I checked it out on, you know, the channel, but I checked it out, called the uh, William A. Irwin, I might check that out next week, probably like next Monday. Alright, so here is the stateroom, this is where company officials would have been, so like, say you're like a company official, you would have probably stayed in this stateroom or the other one. Now you got the bathroom. Oh. That was a that was that was a very big wave. That, that that was quite odd considering the waves aren't that bad. All right, so that was the stateroom. Very nice. Then got stateroom number two, slightly different. Um, the bathrooms over here. Yeah. So, um, let's. Well, do we check everything out on this deck? Let's go down a deck, I guess. Got the second mate's cabin. Oh, this is still pretty spacious for a um, second mate's cabin. Then you get okay. So the bathroom's a little cramped, so we'll probably not get in there. I'll probably get my character will get stuck, and then yeah, it's I'll have to no clip and all that. Third mate's cabin, same. Still very nice for third mate. And then officer luggage locker. So this is where all your lug luggage would have been stored. Cool. Then what's in here? Fan room. All right. So I don't know what these are supposed to be. Just fans, I guess. All right. And you got the linen locker. So let's close that. This would probably oh, so it's just like you know supplies. Like in case it's like very chilly. Let's see, what's the re recreation room? So this is a little lounge. You've got a TV and a bunch of chairs and a closet and a little cabinet. All right, does the TV work? No. Turn that off anyway. Um, so yeah, that was the recreation room. You've got the wheelsman's cabin. But you guys might not be able to see too well. All right, there's the light. So yeah, this is where the wheelsmen would sleep when it's not their shift, because I believe they would have gone in shifts. Watchmen and Woodsman's Cabin. Alright, so, yep, little better, you got a bathroom. Yeah, still very nice. I mean, so, since it was the flagship, you, is this, is that open? I don't think that's open, it looked open. Alright, so this is this is the watchman's cabin, and then we got, we already checked those out, 
What's a slop sink? Oh, it's just a room with a sink in it. Someone explain to me why why there's just a room with a sink in the comments. And then you got the chain locker. This is where the anchors will be lowered. Alright, I believe there is another deck. Somewhere. We have to we might have to no clip down. Let's see, let's see. Let's see what happens. Yep, there's another deck. I don't know where to enter it. We'll see. Oh, it would have been uh, stairs. Where are these? These are right there. All right, that's where we missed them. All right, so this is not done, whatever it is. What is this? Battery room. All right, so this is where the batteries are for power, I'm guessing. Then you got the anchor room. All right. Cool. And then you have the, um, oh, you got the um, tunnel. So in case of a storm like this, you'd want to go through this tunnel. It's a lot safer than uh, going out on deck when there's a very bad storm. So yeah, um, that was that. Now let's check out the, um, let's check out the, um, stern. So yeah, um, let's just look at it. You got the little hatches there, very nice. And then you got the stern, which you got lifeboats, they're decent. They're kind of useless in a storm like this, but. So yeah, you got the stern, and then you got the, um, crew galley. And then, yeah, that's all for now. So yeah, this was the Edmund Fitzgerald. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, hit that, well, I mean, I don't normally hit the bell icon, so you don't have to do that. But uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed the video. Have a great day, and um, yeah, goodbye.